So this is day two of our install. So what I'm gonna do here is finish up some of the uh, little infrastructure things that I didn't finish up last week. Um, and one of those things is I didn't get a um, cover. I didn't um, get a little box outlet on either of these two boxes, which I wanna do today just to clean up the electrical side of things. Just these little guys, just a little cable exit. And actually, you know what? I also want to do. Okay, so the last time um, I was using this just cut up piece of the power cable for the PDU, but now that I have this box apart, I'm going to uh, upgrade it and actually use SJO. Um, so to do that, yes. First start, threading our power connector on here, like this. I'm just gonna pop this guy off here. Okay, there's our hot and our neutral. I'm just gonna wrap that with electrical tape. I really hate twist and wire on terminals like that. I would much rather use a crimp connector, but just a little crimp spade, but alas, I did not have any in my toolbox, or I should say in this small toolbox. Okay, so we're just gonna take a little piece of heat shrink and cut that in half. Two segments of that. Okay, so now that our outlet is back together, I just want to shrink down this tubing. Okay, 
Now that that's done, we can uh, put everything back together and start working on our rack. Okay, so we've got everything run in the rack. Um, so at this point, I want to clean up this mess, which is plentiful. Okay.
this point, I figured we'll just recap for the end of this day. Um, so we got the um, IT kind of cabinet cleaned. I need to, actually I don't have Velcro with me, so I need to get some Velcro to just secure this switch down. Um, cables are all run here. Uh, the scanner, the printer, the computer are all nice and hardwired in with the switch. We've got our labels here, printer and computer. Um, so just a quick thing that we gotta just get cleaned up on that. Um, and for the rest of everything, so my issues with this system have been, I ordered the incorrect Unify switch for the AC in-wall access points. I didn't realize that these needed 48 volt power over ethernet. Um, so first of all, I didn't realize that this switch did not supply power over ethernet. It says PoE in, PoE out. I just assumed that because Unify was so PoE heavy with access points that this generated um, PoE, but it does not, it just passes it through. And that's the same thing on the router too. Um, so I ordered a, a PoE injector from Unify. It came in a week later. Uh, I ordered it on Friday. Today is um, Thursday, it came in today. I thought that I could get the job finished up today, but it turns out that the PoE injector is only 24 volts, not uh, 48 volts. So finally I just called my distributor and I will get a Unify switch that has a 60 watt eight port switch. So I'm just gonna take this back. I'm just gonna send that back to my distributor and then uh, we should finish up. So um, still a little bit of a mess. I, I actually had to put her, uh, her router back in line, um, her existing router back in line before we get the Unify. Um, which is a little bit frustrating, but that's, I, I guess that's me. This is the first time I'm installing this particular Unify system. So um, certainly uh, certainly learning for the other ones or for future systems. So we've got this power all cleaned up finally. There's no big gaping hole there anymore. Um, this, is all, this is all nice and neat. So I'm gonna label her breaker box for her too. Um, I, it's, it, it amazes me that none of this stuff is labeled. So, um, all right, uh, swing by for the next video. Once we're done, um, the, uh, the next video will just be the final termination. So uh, thanks for stopping by.